Hello friends, it's Miss Kristen with the Cambry County Library. Welcome to week five of our winter story times. I'm so glad you can join me today. We're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Today we're going to read a story about trapping a leprechaun or an elf. Have you ever tried to trap a leprechaun or an elf before? You have? Have you made a trap? What did you use to make your trap? A shoebox? That's a great idea. In today's story, we'll learn all about making an elf trap and what happens if we do trap an elf. I hope you enjoy this story. If you're ready for a story, blow some bubbles. Are you ready to pretend to blow bubbles with me? Trap the Elf Any Time of Year by Susan Opelt. Through blustery days of winter into breezy days of spring, there's no best time of year to trap a magical king. Known as an old Irish leprechaun, a pygmy or a sprite, catching one will bring you luck and wishes to delight. Smaller than a garden gnome, yet larger than a fairy, friendlier than a forest troll, the elf is never scary. Gnomes have bulbous noses, lending them to garden needs. They hide amongst the shrubbery, tending plants and sowing seeds. Fairies flutter amongst the trees in a most peculiar dance, spreading fairy dust over friend and foe at each and every chance. Elfin dress quite formally in top hat, tails, and bow. They love their handmade booties fit with pom-poms on the toe. The elf is fond of music, often tapping on a twig, humming tunes and clicking heels in a dance known as the jig. The elves have a secret, but you must not tell a soul. They often follow rainbows, looking to hide their pots of gold. Though generally happy creatures and mischief in their ways, hitching rides on puppy dogs during lazy summer days. Protected by elfin magic, this curious creature can be bold. There is a way to trap them in any season, warm or cold. First, you'll need a box adorned with gold and a touch of green and cotton balls and little sticks to catch what's rarely seen. If you trap proves successful, frozen in time the elf will be. Take him out gently and try to contain your glee. Keeping with the elf and practices, three wishes you must make. Think carefully before you speak them it's better to give than to take. Wishes should be thoughtful. Wishes should be kind. Wishes should not be tainted with greed. Following the first night of capture by your sturdy little trap, the elf must sneak back to the elders quietly while you nap. The elders carefully consider if your wishes will be granted, discussing together fireside in a forest so enchanted. The elf may choose to return to you rather than be released. In exchange for your three wishes, he'll bring good luck, happiness, and peace. And if by chance you trapped your elf at a colorful rainbow's end, the pot of gold is yours to keep my very lucky friend. The end.